This episode of Let's Knit Together is sponsored by Bijou Basin Ranch. Use promo code LK2G to get 10% off at their online store. Hi there, I'm Kat. Let's knit together. Today, we're here at the Hudson Valley Fiber Farm for a sheep share-in. I'm the founder of Martha's Vineyard Fiber Farm and Hudson Valley Fiber Farm. And our farm is a CSA, so we sell shares in our clip while they're still growing on the animals. And these people, we're having our shearing today, and all of our, our farm is open to all of our shareholders on the day of the farm and anyone they want to bring. And so we end up with, you know, a couple hundred people at our house. But <laughs> Measure your fingers by your digit length, how uh, long the fleeces are. All right, now it would be sorted by category. <laughs> How long is this, sir? Finger already. About four inches. Four and a half. There you go. Pass the round mark. That's the sheep's hair. Did you expect all these people? I, you know what, I didn't really know what to expect. It could have been 20, and it could have been 200. I, I really, I had no idea what to expect. So this is a great turnout, and I think everybody's really having a good time. We have some live demonstrations. We have a couple who are spinning fiber right off the animals as we shear them and then weaving it into a shawl. We have Revolutionary War reenactors who are doing natural dyeing and spinning on an old, old spinning wheel. Um, we're about to start doing dyeing demos. We have live music. My 16-year-old stepson's jazz ensemble from his high school offered to play. We were like, why not? It's quirky. Um, and then we also had a huge potluck lunch that uh, we were not expecting anywhere near that much food, and it was massive. Uh, and then tonight, we're having a bonfire. What, what's been going on here? In the I forgot the whole point is the shearing. So we're shearing, uh, we're shearing our sheep today. We would be shearing probably 70 animals today, but it rained last night. So we put 10 of them in the trailer overnight so that they could stay dry. So we'll be shearing these 10 and then we'll have to finish um, probably tomorrow. We'll have to do the rest. So do you raise the sheep here? We do. We have sheep here um, and then we also have animals on Martha's Vineyard. So right uh, on this property we have 94 animals right now and, we, and that includes 25 kids that were born in the last month. And then uh, we're about to start lambing, so we should have about the same number of lambs. How did you come about this idea of the CSA? Um, we really, we moved all of our animals to Martha's Vineyard about two years ago, and um, we went from paying six fifty a bale for hay to paying twelve fifty a bale, which, like, if you have farm animals, that it, you use a lot of hay. Um, so we basically we're going to have to decide if we were going to get rid of the animals or move from the vineyard you know we just we couldn't sort of make the two work and we have always supported vegetable CSAs and we really believe in local farming and supporting local and I just sort of woke up one morning and I was like why can't we you know sell the fiber while it's still on the animals and people either thought it was the best idea they'd ever heard or like the stupidest idea and they they said you know no one's going to pay for yarn that they're not going to get for a year yeah. And I was like, no, but they can, you know, they'll, they'll learn to know the animals, you know, we'll, we'll put up pictures and they can learn their names and they can name the babies. And, you know, we sort of thought maybe we'd get 10 or 11 people who wanted to do it. And we sold 100 shares in the first month. Huh. And then we, we, we use shear goats actually twice a year. So then we started selling shear, you know, our fall shearing. Uh, and it's just taken off since then. Wow. And I would say 90% of our shareholders re-up every time there's a new shearing. And um, so we shear today, and then we'll send this to the mill. We'll drive it to the mill. And um, it takes about eight to 10 weeks to come back. And then we divide it up among the number of shareholders, and we mail it out. And it's a huge production. Hi, <laughs> most of the farmers. <laughs> yeah, one part of being sustainable is making sure that we don't have to put all those chemicals on the, uh, on the wool and all there to dissolve those things. But here, you can see the difference between oh, yeah, you can unjacketed, see the white right there. 
I'm the focal point of the day for the uh, folks to come out and see how sheep are shorn. Well, years ago in the 70s, uh, we had two sheep. My father shore the first one, and then he said, that's enough. You boys, my brother and I, shear the next one. So I was eight, and my brother was 10, and we had some big ewes, uh, females, but my brother would sit on them, and I'd shear one side, and then we'd roll them over, and I'd sit on the other side, and he'd shear that side, and then it progressed from there. There is a set pattern. We start in the belly and move around the legs and up the neck, and so it all comes off in one piece like a blanket so that when you put it out for skirting, which you can go around the outside and take off the uh, soiled pieces and pieces that are matted. So you need to fleece in the same shape each time. Are there really that many farms that uh, have sheep in this area? Uh, surprisingly, there's more small animals around than you think. Uh, I also do llamas and alpacas, angora goats. Huh. So there's uh, more of what we call maybe exotics, but uh, there's still plenty of sheep around. Say cheese. cheese. <gasps> Beautiful. You want to see it? Bring your money in this one. Oh, 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 this is where the professional is humble. <laughs> live show is scheduled for June 27th at 6 p.m. Eastern. Join us to chat about your latest project and to help us select our next knit along. You'll find details on how to participate at letsknittogether.com slash live. Bijou Based on Ranch's brand new sock yarn now has a name. It's called Tibetan Dreams. This yak and nylon blend has amazing softness and great stitch definition. It's quite smushy with a fantastic hand. 
I've been working on the Wendy Knits Nanner socks, and I'm really happy with the way they look. I like the way the lace stitches are knitting up, and there was so much yarn in the skein, I might actually make these into knee socks. As part of announcing this great new yarn, Bishop Basin Ranch is raising the discount for our viewers to 10%. Go to our website, letsknittogether.com, and click on the Bijou Basin Ranch button to get to their online store. Use the code LK2G during checkout and get 10% off your entire order. And remember, your purchase helps us to continue to produce this show. Thanks. <laughs> Oh, come on. The name tag sequence. There you go. Let's go get some food.